welcome back to a very basic space program and um yeah we're uh we're about to arrive in at saturn i'm sure everything will be fine please join me so yes we are uh, we're uh, preparing to arrive at saturn and um yeah it's, it's likely to take a while to do it i'm just looking at this the periaps actually is in front of the 92 days so we're going to enter the sphere of influence of saturn um, what I will do is, we've got a vessel completed, that's very nice. Um, what I will do is, we're going to set this craft up. This is Discovery 14. Wow, these are, these have definitely gone on. We're going we're gonna to set this craft up so that it can do its low power thing. So we're going to we'll turn it, everything basically off when, uh, when it's not being used. There we go. Uh, turn that off. There we go. And then a high power, we're going to turn it on. Okay. There we go. And we should probably check what it's actually running. It's running okay now. And then um, let's actually have a look. It's about, to, it's about to enter. So can we turn these things? In fact, you know what? It's probably better if we, uh, if we just do it through the, the normal window, don't I? Just do the devices. Uh, they're all waiting. They're all ready. They're all enabled. Wonderful. So let's, uh, let's run this forward and get this thing into the sphere of influence of Saturn and we should get some stuff going on. I don't believe we've sent anything into Saturn's sphere of influence yet. So this should be a first. We do have a mission for this, I believe. Let me just check. Have we actually have we actually accepted it? That's the question. If not, better do that. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, I'm going to jump back and just check that we've got this mission accepted. Yeah, so it'd probably be a good idea to accept the flyby, wouldn't it? So we have a flyby mission there, Saturn, 150,000 kilometers. We're going to get science data from space in the year, Saturn. We're going to transmit it. We're going to get a load of science, about a million, which is uh, wonderful. Should uh, should allow us to build our, our research facilities, which we do really need. So let's get back to the craft and uh, actually do this mission, I think. All right, so we're back with our mission, and it is, it's going to enter Saturn's sphere of influence in about 20 minutes. Now, I will remind you that, amazingly, because of the way that we have timed everything so well, um, there is actually a, about 24 hours, in fact, less than 24 hours between hours entering the sphere of influence of Saturn and having our nearest Jupiter Europa sphere of influence change. So we've, we've timed that to perfection. We can get this done, and then in 90 days it'll do what it needs to do. So we're not we're not doing too badly here. Actually, I'm I'm quite happy about this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the maneuvers uh, on this one. We'll we'll do we'll we'll do some prep for the maneuvers on this. Oh, thank you very much. We'll do that. Um, and see if we can actually get anything going on interesting with this. It would be nice if we get a flyby of some of the um, some of the moons. I don't know if we will. Um, what I'm trying hoping is that we're not actually using electricity. Yeah, there we go. Right, we can slow this down. So you can see we are eating electric charge right now um, because we're doing all of the sciences. Let's let's bring that up. Yeah, we are, we are running. So we've got days, 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 days. All of these things are running beautifully. Right, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to pull out I'm going to focus on, not Rhea, don't want Rhea, I want to focus on Saturn. Right, uh, we're going to put a capture in here. This is not pretty, is it? How much have we got? We've got 1,500, so we're going to, first of all, we've got a capture. So how much is that going to cost me? How much are you going to cost me? You're going to cost me a lot, aren't you? I can, I can sense this already. Um, oh, yeah, that's not pretty. Um, 600. That gives me about 900 to play with. It also means that it's like a year per orbit. <laughs> okay. Right. So that would be that. Let's see. What, what, what have we got that we could have an encounter with nicely? We are coming in. Where are we coming in from? We're coming in from the top, coming out the bottom. Okay. There's nothing, there's nothing at all that would be useful for us. So if we, if we, I don't know, if we, I got that. If we target, what's the big ones? What, what are you, Rhea, Dion, you? I'm going to set you as a target. Right, what's your relative inclination? Okay, wrong way. <laughs> are you all going? Well, that's a bad idea, isn't it? Um, suppose we could change inclination out here. I don't think it would be much, would it? Um. How much how much would that be let's 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 go in and let's actually have a look right that's 140 that's going the wrong way let's do do the other way okay let's see 
uh, let's see how much delta v is it going to cost me to fix the inclination problem it's going to cost me a lot i can feel it already um wow that's uh that's a lot of that's a, a lot already isn't it what's what's that looking like um it is looking like 200 that's terrible actually i mean it's not what you'd want to do but well we can do that i can we can definitely do that alternatively we change our inclination now can we can we do a little inclination change here maybe in 21 days what have we got going on in 21 days anybody we're nothing we're free right um okay in 21 days let's have a look um you know what we actually need to get rid of this get rid of that get rid of this so that there add maneuver right so this is the one that i'm interested in um can i do a bit of that and a bit of that and a bit of that what's what's happening with this um it is going down okay and then um Where's my periaps though? I want to know that. Right, periaps has gone up. I want I want to bring my periaps back down. Because I need that to be low. Um, how low do I need my periaps to be? What would that one? That's 3,000. Okay. Uh, I would like to go through the rings of Saturn, if I'm honest. Um, let's have a look. Where's that doing me? We're, we're now doing... When, when we're not we're not too bad. Uh, not the other way. Do that a bit that a bit oh here we go and then a bit of this oh we're gonna flatten out quite nicely i think uh no not brilliant what about a bit more of that and what are we looking like oh that's very high so let's uh let's see let's um let us uh retrograde a bit do a bit of, no, do a bit of that. Bring that in. It's a bit of prograde. I'm actually, ooh, that's, you know what, stop that. Get rid of that. Zero that out. Thank you very much. Um, That's too much. No, I want to go this way. Right, what are these, like 18? Okay. 22. Ooh, hello. What happened there? Eight, minus 18. Uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh. How low can we go? Is the question. 15. That pulls us in. And then that is going to add that in there. You know what? I think I'm happy if we can... What I'm thinking is I get this descending node or ascending node onto this. This becomes a little bit easier. Uh, but not like that. Not like that either. Right, I'm not going to be able to get the descending and ascending node onto there. So... Mm, I think we... I think I want to have my lowest pass be be ascending descending node. I can I can do all sorts of things with that then. So let us I'm gonna sacrifice some of my um some of this. That's 65. Uh do I wanna go? I'm spending a lot of delta V on this. Um Right, and now we're quite far out again. So do I want to do that and a bit of that and a bit of that and get myself so what will we at with 3000 okay I would like to be closer so let's have a look how close I yeah so that's that's nice and close it's not it's not in the atmosphere is it no it's above the atmosphere we can put the maneuver in we can then do a capture and then 
on the far side, we can actually do an inclination. It's 50 degrees, but it's done part of it already. Um, yeah, we're heading in the right direction. It does mean I can do inclination changes at my lowest point in my orbit then as well, which is, is a positive because these are not all. Yeah, they are all lined up. Okay. The only ones that aren't are Titan and Peters. Now, Titan would be potentially interesting. What if I set that as target? Inclination is worse, isn't it? Do I go for Titan? It's got a bigger, it's got a bigger gravity. Mm. Titan or the inner planets. Potentially we could get a few of these is what I'm thinking. We could potentially get all those Titans one on its own. If we had a second mission to Saturn, I'd go for it. But I think we have to go for, I think we have to go for these because there's, there's just potential for, for grabbing them. Um, yeah, I think it's just, it's just better potential. Um, so we'll do that. And if I can gravity assist off them and just slow myself down in odd ways, then I'm going to be happy with that as well, I think. Um, whereas Titan could actually send me off on some really interesting, interesting loops. So we've changed our inclination quite considerably there for a reasonably small amount of stuff. Uh, we've got 21 hours to... Oh, that's interesting. Node in 55 days. Start burning 21 hours. Oh, because it's not showing the 55. Okay. Right. Um, so that's going to be 55 days. That's going to be after our Mars departure. So I think we're going to set that. We're going to... Let's have a look. Are we on... What are we on this here? Oh, it's gone into low power mode. That's okay. And now it's going to start coming back up again. Oh, actually, how much data is it actually gathered? 29. That's it. Okay. <laughs> that's not bad. All right. So I think that's what we're going to do for that. So we're going to add that maneuver. We're going to come in uh, 15 minutes beforehand. Okay. Uh, we're going to add that. Right. So that's going to slide in there. And then we've got sphere of influence for Saturn. It's, if, if we don't do that maneuver, if we don't do a capture or anything like that. So that's going to be in 55. Then if we don't do anything, it's going to fly past and then it's going to leave in 180. So when is our actual... Uh, are we going to pump past here? 92, 92. So it's about the same time. Yeah, in fact, it is almost exactly the same time. Interesting. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna come past there in about uh, ninety days, which would be perfect. We don't have a problem with it. We shouldn't have anything in the way. Wonderful. Right, that is set. Now let's go and have a look at Jupiter again. I think we are uh, we're on board with the Discovery Twelve around Jupiter, and I'm just trying to figure out why we don't have signal. And then I realise. Jupiter's in the way. Yeah, if we actually look down that cone, I believe Earth is right between us and Jupiter. If I'm going to zoom out, we'll just have a look. Earth should be, yeah, there we are. Perfectly aligned. Brilliant. All right. So we have, uh, we've got about 24 hours until we're going to have that intercept with uh, with Jupiter. Oh, sorry, with Europa. Uh, we have the mission selected for the Europa flyby. It requires we get within 9,700 kilometers. So we're going to actually have a look. Where's there's Europa? We're going to focus view. Hello, Europa. How are you? Uh, according to us, we're going to be within uh, 301 um, kilometers. What do we need to be within again? Let me just check this because this would be this would be a disaster if we actually miss this one because I'm not going to get a second shot. 9,000 kilometers. Yeah, we're we're, we're going to be we're going to be golden for that. Now. If we just put that, that's 23 hours, 34 minutes. And we're going to leave 23 hours, 44 minutes. So we're going to get about 10 minutes. It's not much, but it's it's a mission. It's a mission. Um, we, I will have 10 minutes to decide if I, well, five minutes to decide if I want to actually do anything around there. Um, it is going to do what with our, it's going to, it's going to potentially change our path. Okay. I have a maneuver set. Why do I have a maneuver set? IO. Ah. So we're aiming for an IO interaction after this. Is that right? So we're coming in here. We're going to hit you. We're going to come out the other side. And then I was aiming for a, an IO interaction. Wow. I forgot that we were doing this. So we've, we've basically, we're trying to, we've done Ganymede, have we? 
good. Yeah, we hit, we've gone past Ganymede. We're going to grab Euro, uh, Europa now. And then we're going to try and get Io in a year and a half's time. Wow. That will be uh, one, two, three of you done. And then it just leaves Callisto. And is Callisto on the plane? I believe it is. Yeah, Callisto is on the plane. So then it just leaves me with trying to find out how to hit Callisto. Um, and of course, we are... We are orbiting in the opposite direction to everything else, so you know we uh, we don't need to worry too much about grabbing an orbit. We have a very close flyby there, actually, as well. I wonder if we could double that up. Um, it does pull us down nicely, doesn't it? That interaction there pulls us down very nicely. Right. Anyway, I uh, I digress. We uh, we we need to be moving on, don't we? We need to we need to move these things forward and, and get things going on and and see what's occurring. Have I got signal yet? No, I do not, because we are still blocked by Saturn, uh, Jupiter even. It's just, uh, yeah. Saturn's recharging. It should be doing its thing. It shouldn't be a problem. Right. Um, yeah, I'm just having a look at this and thinking, is that what I want to do? I think it is what I want to do. Um, so we're going to come in quite so this is going to be a very quick flyby because we've got like 25 it's like a it's like a 24 hour journey from from the orbit of callisto all the way into the orbit of europa so that's that's quick one day across those orbits because of course this is like you know this is a big distance this is not like going to the moon this is this is high speed um interesting all right let's keep going uh we have got 20 hours to go We've got some, some Saturn science coming in and then something stopped it, which I think means that the Saturn craft has run out of electric charge again. Um, is that right? It's got a lot of stuff coming in. The Saturn craft should be doing some stuff. It should actually be set to, yeah, there we go. It should be recharging when it gets low. Obviously when I'm going in super fast speed, it's not doing that though. It's not listening to what I've told it to do. So when it's below 20%, it's not actually switching off, which uh, which is a little annoying, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Right. I still don't have signal. Saturn is still having a problem with its electronics. Okay. We're going to, I think I'm going to actually turn off the warnings for Saturn. I think we, yeah, I think, I think that's what we'll do. So we'll come in here. Uh, we'll go to, uh, let's have a look. Uh, right thing. Where's Saturn on here? Wow, it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of stuff on here, isn't it? Um, let's have a look. Discovery, Discovery, Discovery Saturn 14. Right. Uh, I don't want battery information. And I don't want supply information. What I do want is for you to actually do what you're supposed to do. You're below 13%. Okay. Right. Okay. Wonderful. Now we're going to come back out. Uh, uh, stay here. Thank you very much. I, I want to go back to where on this one. Yeah, there we are. Right. You are still pointing straight at. Oh, I think we're about to get out of its shadow. That's good. I would really like it if we were out of the shadow when we actually went into the sphere influence of Europa. Uh, let's check. Have we actually got the mission lined up? I believe we should. Oh, four crew mission. It's interesting. Hmm. I suppose we could do a hands across the universe sort of thing, right? Europa, science data from space near Europa. Okay. Ah, we have we have signal. Wow! Look at that. Jupiter mission has given us five hundred and ninety science. That is huge. I didn't actually realise we got a craft that had given us that much. I wish you could actually just see a total. There must be something where you can just see total science from each craft that you've ever flown. There must be a piece of data somewhere because I'd love there to be like a league table where you actually had a craft and it went, you know what, this craft is the one. This is the one that has given you all of this data. Um, we're going to focus on Europa. Thank you. Um, that's interesting. When am I going to hit you? Where is this interaction? It's just there. Yeah, this is, uh, this is getting close, isn't it? I'm very nervous about this this interaction actually, and I shouldn't be. It's 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 planned. It's going to happen. There we go. That's what it looks like. We are going to be on the sunny side. Uh, we do have 257 meters per second left, so 
I don't know what the, we've got 80 of it to get onto our IO intercept, which then leaves us with about 100, I would say about 100. You know, we've got maneuvering stuff and things like that, but about 100 to get that Callisto interaction, and that would give us all of the flybys of the Jupiter system, which I'd be very happy with, because that's just like free money, free money for a craft that was only ever really intended to, to capture and do a little bit of science. So yeah, that's that's not a killer for us, is it? You can see the time distance here is so short that this is actually just, yeah. All right, are we, are we fully charged? We are gonna be fully charged, okay. No, we're not. Okay, I think I might take command here and just uh, manually do some stuff. Um, right, I think what I wanna do is, are we still doing Jupiter? Still doing Jupiter. Um, I wanna turn that off. I wanna turn all of this off. Yeah, turn it all off. Right. And then we're going to watch it come in. We've got 15 minutes. There we go. Right. Right. How long until I'm getting here? Two minutes. Well, we've just jumped in. Big time and I did it wrong. Uh, uh, on, 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 on. On, 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 on. Uh, are we enable 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 I've been hitting the wrong things just to annoy myself so we've actually missed out on about half of our travel time right so let's actually have a look let's have a look at what we've got going on hello ooh, isn't that nice that's a good picture that is a good picture uh, would be nice if the Sun was in a better position but uh, yeah, that's that's a nice one as well. I quite like that. But the just the general that composition is beautiful, isn't it? Um, right. What are we going to achieve? Well, we've got to get some science. Um, we're going to pop out of the sphere of influence very soon. We're not going to see much of uh, of Europa. Uh, most the pity. We we don't we don't get to see much of it. We don't have the fuel to capture. Um, I don't even want to attempt to put a node in there to see how it captures because it might throw our other one off, and I've messed around with that just about enough already um so yeah that's that's us we're gathering the gathering of the science so we're going to come out of here and where's my interaction with io gone uh oh yeah that's gone yeah that has gone so we're going to have to redo that I thought this might happen we're gonna to have to redo that on the way back. Um, okay. Um, that's interesting. Its inclination point is there. So where would the other one be? It would be there. Or oh, actually on it. Okay. So we'll just have to move that around a bit and, and see what we get. We will do that once we've flown out the other side of here. So what are we looking at now for... What? Why is this enable, enable, run, run, run? What's going on? Oh, we're out of, we're out of power. Seriously. You know what? No, we're not out of power. Get away from me. Um, uh, come on. I, I don't need that. I need that off. Turn that off. Run that. Run that, run that, run that, run that. What's that doing me like? Uh, we're still using power, but that's fine. Okay. That's good. We'll shut that down. That gives me a bit more longevity in this system. How long have we got is the question. Avionics, oh, we're, we're actually gaining, are we? We're gaining, right. Is that because we've just turned stuff off? No, it's running, it is running. So it's the transmission that's the problem. Okay, so we've done that. We're uh, and we're coming out the other side now. So we've got as much as we're going to get from there. Um, have we have we completed the mission? I hope we completed the mission. Okay, we're out the other side, and we have regained that interaction. That's interesting. How did that come back then? 
Was it because we're in the... Maybe it's because we're in the sphere of influence of another body. I don't know. So that's going to come there. That's going to come... I'm still concerned about this manoeuvre. I'm still concerned about it because I think it's not going to work. But um, we'll see. We'll see. That, that, that does put us near, near Io. Right. So we've got another 30,000 there. We're going to turn that back on. Um, we're going to go back to here and we're going to go, no, I want auto. All right, that's going to be enabled. We're going to go to a low power. That's going to go off. That's going to go on. There we go. So now this thing should start doing stuff. We have a lot of data to transmit. What have we actually got? We've got 10 credits, 8 credits, 30 credits, 10 credits, nothing, 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 nothing. Where's that from? Europa. Three seconds of Europa stuff. 19 are we actually going to get enough science from europa to trigger it i think we should but we'll we'll have a look uh, what i want to do is get rid of the jupiter stuff first and i want to dump the europa stuff there right so let's um speed that forward just a smidgen and we can pull out and actually look where the craft is the craft is now sort of you know it's it's on its way it's gone it's gone past europa We've had a quick look, we've seen what's going on, and we're going to start to transmit stuff. We're getting some electricity in. Uh, why are we not? Europe, 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 Europe. We do have to signal. What is the problem? Um, oh, we're now transmitting, are we? We've now transmitted a load of science. All in one go. Really? 708? Wow. Wow. Uh, we've got quite a bit of science coming out there. Uh, what are we looking like? We're waiting for the power to go back up before it starts transmitting, I think. Um, this is the only problem with the settings for that, actually. You you do end up with this sort of tip of these probes. So they don't have enough. There we go. Right. Let's have a look. We did the flyby. We transmitted science from space near. Yeah, we did. We did actually transmit. I'm going to give myself that. So I'm going to go away and give myself that. We transmitted the science. Just because it wasn't a lot of a single bit, we did go low, low uh, space near Europa. We were, we were near it. We could see it. It's close enough. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to force myself to not to have that. So if you comment on it down below, should I allow that? I'm going to allow it. But would you allow yourself it? Because we did transmit science. You saw the science that was there. It wasn't a lot of it, but it was a flyby. It was the cameras were flying and everything. Um, that may be a Passover from the having to transmit science while you're in low sphere of influence. I don't know. Um, I know they've changed some of them so that they don't you don't have to do that anymore um but we'll see so we'll turn these back on because they can start transmitting and uh, have we actually got much in the way of science going on uh they're just waiting okay space high it's just yeah it's just going to tick over and check every now and again isn't it um that's a lot of data there what's that 8.5 10 that's 18 that's a lot as well isn't it Magnetic sense. So we could actually turn that off and get these done a bit quicker. Um, or we could just leave it because they're, they're, they're all going to go at some point anyway. Um, there's a lot of data that needs to come back from these, um, <laughs> uh, which we'll, we'll do it in the next however many sort of decades, probably. Um, so we're going to put that, and that manoeuvre now is going to be getting marked down for our next one for this craft. So there we are. It's in 271 days, so, you know, there's a, there's a while to go there. And I think that's it. It was done with that mission for now. We have the Saturn 150 days. And uh, I think that's going to be it for... No, I think we'll launch. We'll launch... Uh, I'll go forward and we'll launch the, uh, the atmospheric craft for Mars. And then we'll finish the episode up, I think. So let's get back to the Space Centre. Well, here we are on the launch pad with Mate 1, and yeah, it's it's dark. It is, we've obviously got some quite intense cloud cover. I'm not entirely sure we'd launch, actually, if it was so bad that the sky was blocking out all light, even though the sky is glowing, but we're going to go for it. So uh, let's see, we're going to get our thrust on. We're going to see what we're going to do. I think we're ready to go. Let's, uh, let's fire some engines. This is the noisy launch vehicle, so there we go. And we'll just decouple and go. So you can see that, he, yeah, we can we can see the craft now in the sort of eclipse of the uh, of the planet. Um, it is a little noisy. We're gonna we're gonna just get this thing going up a bit. I think uh, get this on. 
uh, hello, there we go, it'd be nice if we could do some tilty tilting, uh, I need to start turning over a bit, there we go, okie dokie, there we are, I mean we are, we are, I'm, I'm actually launching this at quite a, oh, pull, pull back a little bit, we are launching this at quite a pace, if I'm honest, um, I would like it if I fix the roll a bit, that would be better, right, there we go, right, we're going to get this thing turned over quickly, actually, because this has been a, quite an aggressive launch. Uh, I want to get this down to about 10 to 15 degrees now. There we go. And then we're going to slow it down just a smidgen before our engines burn out. And then we can stage. Are we ready to stage? I've just realized we have a problem with staging, but that's going to be painful. There we go. Yeah. There we go. That was, that was the problem. We decoupled that whole top section, which I didn't plan to do, but... I think we're high enough up to not worry too much about that. We're not going vastly, vastly fast, are we? So there we go, that's fine. Um, there's this stage here with four engines is gonna get us well up there. And then we've got this whole upper stage here. And then, you know, I can't remember. I oh, said, so that's the transfer, okay. And then this is the heat shield landy combo. It's, I, I'm trying to remind myself of what this craft actually is because it feels like so long ago that I actually built it. Um, so yeah, okay, so that's going to do that, that's going to put it in, that's going to decouple, this is going to orientate itself, and then we're going to be all happy, are we? Okay, wonderful. Right, I'm sure that's going to be fine. I'm sure I don't see any, see any problems whatsoever with this. Uh, I probably need to put a bit more uh, vertical on this. We'll put it on 20, yeah. Because I forget this is actually quite a heavy craft up here. Uh, are you actually on right now? Are your avionics on? Let's have a look. And yeah, they are on. It's okay. All right. Um, what are we looking like for time and so forth? I think that's okay. Uh, we are looking at uh, electric charge, 42 minutes. Okay. That's, uh, again, interesting. Uh, hopefully okay. We'll do a little decouple. Let those engines go. They should then give us more control. So that's, this is on the brink. This craft is on the brink of that third stage is avionics. I, I always forget about that. Third stage avionics is a little tight. Um, but again, we should be easily get this thing into orbit. Um, I hope, I think, maybe, possibly. Uh, you will notice I've not gone down to normal speed at all during this. We've gone up to two, down to two and up to three. And that's about what we're going to do. I'm just keeping an eye on the times, things like that. I want us to be in a reasonable orbit, but you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too overly fussed about how high we go. Um, again, as long as we're all outside the atmosphere, actually, the lower down we are, it's sort of better. We get a better roll berth effect, particularly with the the uh, liquid hydrogen engines like this. It's uh, it's not going to be too much of a problem. I don't think we've got two of the two engines there. Um, I just hope that we've actually got enough fuel to do all of this. Uh, that should be enough for capture and, and so forth and slow us down and then we're going to let this thing... Potentially we could have actually just, you know, really reduced this and had this just hard splash into the atmosphere and slow itself down, but we are not doing that. Uh, do that please. We do not need to burn any more than that. There we go. Okay, uh, we've got a little bit... I'm actually going to put my pitch down a bit now. I'm aware of the fact that we are probably climbing too high. There we go. I'm actually now for the first time in the uh, in, in this launch we're going to go to normal speed. We've got about 20 seconds left. I should also be ready to cut out engines. Put this to zero. There we go. Um, and as soon as we get to above the atmosphere, I'm going to cut it. I think there we go. Right. Right. That's done. We're going to cut that. There we are. Check the RCS is okay. Yeah, that's okay. Right. We're going to get rid of this. I didn't actually, you know what, I didn't mess around too much with that. I just realized 1.5 degrees out is annoying, actually. But um, it's not It's not a big issue. We're going to Mars. Uh, and that's not Mars, that's Venus. There we go. Uh, no, hello. Thank you. We're going to this one. Oh, my lordy. Come on. There we are. Right. Um, and then we go back to us because I don't need to see that. Right. Let's do a maneuver planner. Uh, let's have a look. Um, another planet, yep. And pork chop, and I want to go ASAP, please. 420. Mm, include capture burn. Uh, okay. Create node. 45. 45. That should be okay. That should be okay. And that should give us, let's have a look. 
yeah, we, it's going to do that thing that they tend to do, which is they come out high and then come back in. Um, and then what's it's going to be? It's capture. Hello, how are you doing? Right. And the capture is going to be tighter than tight, isn't it? Okay. That's not terrible. We do have, and I should actually put on our comms stuff, shouldn't I? So we, we actually do have comms around the place. We've got a bit of U and we've got a bit of U as well. So those are comms that are going to be floating around. So it's not terrible, actually. Um, yeah. What's that? That's the, the relay, the Pathfinder relay in the center. Are we coming in? Are we actually in the plane of... No, we're actually not. We're not in the plane at all. We're sort of we're sort of near the plane of Phobos, but definitely not the plane of... Well, no, I suppose... Yeah, actually, it's not bad. All right. When is that burn? That burn is in 45 minutes, so we're going to do a little bit of timey-wimey warp to take us there. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Thank you very much. Mate 1 Probe has got battery problems, is it? That's nice. Right, now I've just, by having the RCS on, we've now used some RCS and done it again. This is what really annoys me with that. Really does my head in. So so our burn will now be out of sync. Um, in actual fact, I should recalculate it, but I'm, I'm refusing to. Um, perfect burn will be out of sync because we've actually, our craft is not perfectly balanced, okay? So when we fire those RCS, it, uh, it's actually causing problems for us. Um, right. RCS on. Okie doke. Uh, I think what we will do is, I think I'm going to get, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get this to do it. We're going to get this to do the burn. Um, if it can. God, you forget, you forget how slow uh, mech job can actually be at having you rotate to position. So we've got 30 seconds and I can only just now see the maneuver node. Uh, I don't even know what the RCS is looking like for fuel. Um, what are our, yeah, there are, where are our tanks for this? They are on the bottom there, aren't they? Have we got some there? I can't remember where they are. There they are. Yeah, we've got fuel in them. Okay. We're, we're not terrible for it. So now it's going to mess around for a bit, trying to get itself lined up and stuff like that and stuff and things and do these things and then da 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 da. Um, now, because it's spun, we should actually have. Oh no, it's going to, it's going to time warp because it obviously needed to time warp then, didn't it? Um, come on, do you want to, do you want to fire up your engines? There we go. Now that's going to do that, and then I can hit the engine button and do it for it. There we go. Wonderful. Right. So let's see. We've got a five thousand eight hundred meters per second supposedly in this stage. We're gonna, we're gonna physically, physically time warp this up a bit to four times, I think because you do not need to wait for four minutes to see what happens. Uh, let's have a look. We're, we're always on the dark side, aren't we? So there's, the, uh, there's the, the probe originally. Let's actually have a look at this. So what have we got? We have, it's basically one of our Mars, our Pathfinder upper stages, the relays, with some parachutes, with some little engines, and that's got fuel in it. And then this is going to deliver it. And then we've got this, uh, this heat shield on the bottom. Hmm. Interesting design. Not sure if I approve, but it'll do. It'll do. It'll be okay. Uh, I now remember I actually put this on because I want this to land basically in the in the sun and facing the earth, which I think is it should be possible uh, with a little bit of work and moving around and being clever about how we capture and things like that. So that's what I'm hoping for. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to capture. Um, we'll have to have a look, actually. We'll look at the second maneuver and it'll give us a rough idea. Um, it will be interesting to see. So right, we're down to, we're past the node. We've got another two and a half minutes. Even on full attack, that's going to be 30 seconds at least of me talking gibberish. I do like the glow. I do like the glow of this. I think, uh, yeah, is this, is this waterfall? I think this might be waterfall. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, try, try waterfall. Waterfall's very nice. Um, right, let's have a look. Is there anything else I need to think about? So these are those... These are those TD engines, so we know they do actually gimbal uh, because we've now tested them. So they do actually gimbal. They do as long as you've got avionics control for them, they're they're wonderful. But um, if you, if you don't have avionics control, they're pretty useless because and we have actually had a, a load of them go out. Now, this is the interesting thing with RP1. They were built. They were the first set built. Um, 
but we have since flown other craft with them. So my question is, technically they shouldn't get a boost in their reliability from sort of past launches, but will they? Oh, turn off those big engines. Get Turn that off. Shut, shut down, shut down engine. Thank you. Um, right, how close are we getting to this? Hello, let me zoom out. Um, wow, I think we're going to turn some things off again, aren't we? We're going to turn that off, that off, and that off. Right, and I'm going to focus view. Right, are we are we are we coming anywhere near it? Is the question I've got. Let's have a look. Uh, no, no, we are not. Right, we're going to get rid of that because that's absolutely useless now. And we're going to get rid of that. Turn that off. Uh, remove all nodes. Wonderful. Close that down. Right. Now we have to have a look and go. Just how close are we? We're not. We're really not, are we? Um, oh, this is the annoying bit. Right, let's let's have a look. What can I do? I don't even know how much Delta V we've got to play with. So we're gonna um, we're gonna add a maneuver there. We're gonna zoom out, and we're gonna try and figure out why we are not close to things. Why am I not anywhere near this? That's the good question, isn't it? We are there. All right, can I bring that into something? That's an interaction. Okay. So focus view now. Let's see what we get. Okay. See, that's 36 meters per second. That's not a small amount of delta V, is it? Um... And that's the choice because now I'm sort of going. Do I do I then use the do I then use the RL tens to do this, or is 39 something I'm willing to lose? Um, I think it's something I'm willing to lose from the the rest of the craft. Right. So let's have a look. What 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 is gonna? That's not good. That's too far. Right. Okay. That, and then a bit of that, and a bit of that. What is this doing? Let's have a look. Let's see how close we can get. Um, take that all the way over there, and then do a bit of that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk it in. Basically, I want a button that's between these two. All right, here we are. Um, that's the worst possible position for me. I really want to be. Uh, not there. <laughs> there would be nice, actually. Is that going to be? Is that going to be acceptable? Um, that's a bit low. That's very low, in fact. <laughs> um, that's perfect. Yeah, that that would be perfect. That would give me the opportunity to to basically land potentially on the pole. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Ninety nine. Um, okay, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do that, and then I'm going to pull it to there, and then I'm going to I'm going to do maneuver planner, and I'm going to get it to execute the next node. Is what I'm going to do. Yep, yeah, that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to turn these engines on again. If I can get them in time, coming up. There we go. Right. Come on. Show me Mars. Show me Mars. Show me Mars. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Right. That's what I want. Can you give it to me is the question. Hmm. Anywhere, anywhere nearby would be fine as well. I'll be happy with that. Right. Here we go. A few seconds to go. Tiny little thrust. we go. Come on, 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 come on. Right, and then we've overshot, so I need to get on here quickly and shut down those engines. 
again. Shut down. There we go. Right. In actual fact, you know what? We're not even doing that. I'm not even doing that. I'm going to wait until you're nearby and then we're going to decouple. Right. That's close enough for me, I think. Right. And then I want to turn on your avionics. Oh, this is this has got an interesting structure, hasn't it? You are you are a very interesting structure. You have got a, a very a very heavy nose that I have not accounted for with some RCS. Right. Let's see what this is doing. What is this doing for my Mars encounter? Um Right. Oh this is not pretty. Not point eight is gonna bring that in, is it? I don't think it is. Oh it might. It, it may just do that actually let's uh oh it is it is bringing it in i mean it's inconsistently bringing it in but it's doing it we'll do that and hold that there uh turn that i bought that to that hold it where it is please all right Right, okay, now we're going to do a little bit of... There we go, we'll just do that. <laughs> we'll take control, okay. How close can we get? How close do I want to get, actually, is the question. Um, I want to get reasonably close. Now I'm too close, now I'm in the atmosphere. There we go. That's perfect. Right. Turn everything off. Right. There we go. That's what we're going to do. Right. So let's mark that. That was uh, special. Uh, we have a sphere influence change. We'll do that in to give ourselves a 10 minute warning. Um, add that alarm. Right. In fact, you know what? We, we, we'll do that. There we go. That's better. Right. So that one will do that for us and then we'll sort it out. So. There we go. We're on our way to Mars. I will put the other two missions up in the background. Um, they'll they'll happen in the background, and you, you, I won't show you anything of it. It's you don't need to see it. It's you've seen it before. Um, but we want to see this atmospheric interface one, and then that is us done. So next time we'll probably get back to some crewed missions. Uh, we'll see what happens with Mate. We'll see what happens with the Saturn mission. Hopefully doing a uh, a little encounter move thing. Try and get an encounter and stuff like that and things. Um, and that's it. So from me until next time, have a great one.